One of the issues we have to deal with when shooting glass in this way, which has the potential to become a bit of a chore, is dealing with the spots, blemishes, dust, hair on the glass, stuff like that. Now I'm not using top quality glassware here, and there's quite a number of imperfections in the glass that we never spot with the naked eye, but of course when we zoom into them in the way we are here, then we start to see them. A tiny air bubble in the glass will show up as a black spot. The glasses have been around for a number of years, so they've picked up the odd scratch or two, and they're going to become visible as soon as we focus as close as we are. Then of course we've just got to have a dried watermark or a hair on the glass. And then of course we've got whatever is sitting on our sensor. So we have the potential to have a bit of a chore to do here. So let's look for a way to speed that up. We're looking at a batch of thumbnails here in Camera Raw, all shot with a 20 megapixel camera. I'm only telling you that because I'm going to open up quite a number of them all in one go. A lot of the blemishes are going to be on the glass, not so much the background. So when we change the glass, of course, the technique I'm about to suggest is not quite so good. So I'm going to take this image, which is the first of a new setup. I'm going to hold my shift key. I'm going to scroll down until I get to the end of that little set. In fact, they go on quite a lot further here, but I'm going to take it to that point. You can see I've got a lot of images there, all selected, and I could select more. I'm going to hit the Enter key. I'm going to open these up into Camera Raw. Now, if you've never opened up a number of images into Camera Raw, then the thumbnails down the left-hand side may be a little bit of a surprise, but there are the images that I've opened. I've only got one selected at the moment, and I can select through and make adjustments to any one of them individually. But what I'd like to do is to select them all. I'm going to use a keystroke of Control A, the universal keystroke for Select All. Now we're looking at the top image here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my healing brush. I'm going to zoom in on the image a little bit. And we're going to deal with one or two spots. That's a dust spot in the background. Let's have a look at the glasses. Let's go in even tighter here. And there you can see what I was referring to a few moments ago. So I'm going to make my brush small and I'm just going to click around and deal with all of these. Now, I think I've said this before, but I've got so confident in this tool that I'm quite happy to just click around in this way and live with what Photoshop does because it does a great job every time. We can do little lines, take this one here, I can just draw along there. I can draw around that one. We've got an odd shape V here, probably a scratch in the glass, but I think you're getting the idea here. So what we need to do is to be super critical with just one of these glasses. So do carefully everything you feel needs to be done. And all of these little marks here, this isn't the sensor, as I've said, this is the glass itself. So I don't mind taking quite a bit of time doing these because I know that I'm actually doing the whole batch on the left hand side in one go. Now I don't think I really need to do any more than that. All I'm going to do now is click done. That spotting has been saved on those images that I've created. So now if I go back to Bridge, even if I come back into Bridge sometime later, and I come down to, which image did it was the last one? I think it was this image. Let's open this image up into Camera Raw. Let's go to our spotting brush, and there we can see all of the dust marks have been dealt with. 
So you can see what I mean about taking our time on that one because I'm looking around this image and I can see a little water drip there and I would deal with that. There's a little speck there, another little water drip there. I would deal with all of these. If I had to spend 20 minutes on this image, I don't mind because I know all of the images in the range I selected are all going to be repaired for me. Now I'm working on a computer here which is quite old. It certainly wouldn't be considered state of the art. So let me go back just for a second to the first of the images where I've got this glass set up. Hold the shift key and I'm going to go down. I think these are all the same. I must have done a lot of images here. Well, we seem to go down to, no, I think. I think even those are the same. Well, I did do a lot of that glass, didn't I? Well, there we've come to the end of them. Looks about there. I think that's a slightly different setup. I'm going to hit the Enter key and see what happens. I'll let this go in real time. And the reason I said my computer isn't state of the art, this computer must be eight years old. And there are times when I'm recording these videos, it does let me know. But nevertheless, look at how many of these I could do in one go. Control A selects them all. There's my brush. Remember, this is the one we worked on earlier on. But whoops, that wasn't very good. Let's zoom in a bit. So we can go through each of the glasses and we can deal with each of the problems as we see them knowing that goodness knows how many other images that I've selected there are all going to be fixed at the same time. And I think that would encourage me, certainly, to pay even more attention to the glass that I'm currently doing. Even if I only want to do three or four of these for my slideshow sequence, it's worth considering this method. And don't forget, when you're done, just click Done and you can open up any one of those images in the future and all the spotting is done for you. When we're working in Lightroom we can do much the same thing. I've got a batch of images here, they all look considerably different but the glass is all in the same position. Let's just pick up the first one and go to the develop module. There's a couple of problems here without zooming in and looking for too many other spots and blemishes. There's a smudge there from my monitor, there's a smudge there from my monitor and a little dust mark. So let me pick up my spot removal tool, let me click on that, that should fix that one. This one over here I'll click and that should fix and then that little smudge I'll paint down over that it takes just a few seconds to do that but I'm going to click done. Now let's go back to the library because I can pick up another image completely different. I can go to the develop module and if you just see the little smudge there it may be difficult for you to see the smudge because you're looking at a slightly compressed video but there's one down there but you can certainly see that little mark. All I need to do is to say apply the previous settings to this one and they're all fixed.